here will go one of storage uh, small assembly that is this one again here we have to connect another adapter which we have actually improvised from endotracheal tube so this will fit here and we can easily go forward with the ventilation during the procedure now the third one here we have the suction port here we can introduce a feeding tube of size 6 easily we can see it coming out through this end the distal end so we'll keep it somewhere here now we are going to introduce the uh, telescopic rod lens through this port the fourth port now for the telescopic rod lens we have to use another part of the assembly which is called the bridge here is a bridge now this end of the bridge connects to this port we have to direct it this way with a smaller ridge this side upwards and directly connect it this way next this will be directing sideways and just put it down here then we will take this scope this is a Carl storage semi rigid scope which is 30.6 cm length and 1.3 mm 1.3 mm outer diameter so this scope will be introduced through this port which has been connected with the bridge now while introducing it we have to make sure firstly this light source channel is directed upwards and here this bridge part is directed sideways and during introduction it has to go in a very linear manner now during introduction we have to again make sure that this prism is slight, slightly it is just slided upwards so that we can easily introduce the scope fit it this way and then just move this knob upwards now this is closely fitted now along with the scope we can see that the suction is also there coming out through the distal end now this assembly is perfect for diagnosis of any foreign body in the bronchus now we have suppose we have visualized a foreign body let's take this is the foreign body and we have visualized it now this assembly this bronchoscope will be in this position and now we'll have to use other scopes for retrieval of this foreign body so very gently we have to disconnect the bridge with this bronchoscope intact I will disconnect the bridge gently take the bridge along with the scope out now one assistant will have to hold the bronchoscope in place Robbie kindly hold it yeah this will be here and now I'll have to mount the optical bronchoscope before that I have to disconnect the bridge same way this has to go laterally bring the bridge out now I have to take the optical forceps now this is the optical forceps torch this again will stay laterally this will stay up and this scope will go into the optical forceps inside gently linearly and for locking we have to again push it upwards now this is a locked assembly and my optical forceps is ready for introduction. We recently uh, stumbled across this amazing instrument, a Dormia basket as shown here. This is a distal tip. Now if you open it, Robbie can you open it? Yes. You can see that this is the Dormia basket and it can be used for foreign bodies which are extremely slippery and cannot be evacuated by normal forceps. Close it and now let me show you how we can use this Tomia basket into this rigid endoscope assembly hold this for this purpose we will use the same endoscopic assembly which we used initially for just visualization of the foreign body now we can see that the suction tip is there we will remove the suction from the suction port introduce the Tomia basket through the suction port now this is an improvisation which we were quite successful with. 
yeah we can see the tip of the dormia basket coming out through the suction port now for those kind of foreign bodies which are difficult for evacuation through forceps we just have to go at the side open up the dormia basket catch hold of the foreign body gently again get a good grip and so it can be removed easily